What we're going to be taking a look at now are some of the visualization capabilities inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011 and what it has to offer to our customers. Now let's put this in perspective. Let's say we're sitting down in front of our desk, our boss comes over and says, all right, we need to give, give our customers some documentation, some visualization of what we're currently working on, some current renderings of what we have uh, going on right now. We don't want to step into an alternative rendering product. We do have that capability with Autodesk products. However, we can do this to a point directly inside the Inventor interface. We can go in and we have the capability inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011 to work with ambient shadows on our model to be able to create reflections and different lighting conditions as well as a variety of different scenes inside the interface without leaving the Inventor interface directly. So we work with these different controls. We can go in and control some different settings. For example, here, we want to control where the light is actually set inside the scene. We have the capability of doing that and perfecting exactly where we want that laid out. We have the capability of turning certain shadows on or off to gain the perspective or the rendering that we desire directly inside the Autodesk Inventor interface. We also have capability of controlling these different things, the ground plane, uh, where the reflections are to take place, how they're supposed to take place. Whether we want to show this in black or white and color, maybe in a watercolor illustration, there's a variety of different settings that we have the capability to work with. We can export this information directly out of Autodesk Inventor into JPEG formats, just as I did here. Now, I also have the capability of setting up um, different backgrounds, if you will, or different environments that aren't just 2D JPEG images, but they're actual 3D HDR environments with lighting conditions built in directly inside the Inventor interface. So everything's already there ready for me to use. I can grab these different environments and scenes just with a simple click of a button. So I don't have to spend a lot of time rendering. Rather, I have a real time rendering all the time as I model inside the Inventor interface, as I work inside the Inventor interface, I can work in these different conditions or these different settings live. So I can continue um, laying out maybe some different illustrations with shadows, without shadows, with, reflect with reflections on the ground, without reflections on the ground, and, and gain the perspectives and start saving off these different imagery so that I can maybe put this into a PowerPoint presentations or start working with the data that way. Now some other capabilities I have to work with is maybe I want to drop in a, a green screen in the background so that I can make use of just the model that I'm trying to create an image of for a PowerPoint presentation as we're going to do in an example in just a second. So I'll go ahead and save this stuff off. Now that I've generated some of this imagery, I've already put in two of the images into my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go ahead and drop my green screen um, presentation here and then I'll go ahead and simply remove the background inside of PowerPoint. So the, the imagery created directly outside of, inside of Inventor can be directly used in a variety of different ways. And this is just one example of doing that. So here we can see some of the imagery that was generated inside of Inventor 2011. Very impressive, very easy to use, one of the most powerful tools on the market to date.